I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? There are a lot of things I can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Yeah, on top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Hmm, well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Bye. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd. Or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Well, I'll leave that to you. But I would recommend Lieutenant Boyd and Sergeant Contreras as two people who usually know what's going on around here. Later. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin.
Yep. See you around. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Hey, no one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom, had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. Don't be a stranger.
Howdy. Something I could help you with? Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Adios. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people in Westside grow crops or something. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. They're based out of the old fort in Freeside. They supposedly helped the NCR out at some point, but they go their own way now. They know stuff about tech and medicine and usually help out anybody who asks. Can't say I know any more than that. Haven't seen them. Serves them right if the NCR declares a Maywall. He's a glory hound. Always looking for a way to get promoted to Ranger. Thinks he's too good to be a regular trooper like the rest of us. Yes, please do. Carry on. Tom Anderson, can I help you? No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. Take care. Anything new happening? Oh, hello. Corporal White? I don't know where he... Uh, I mean, I never heard of him. Uh, I gotta go. I didn't want to get Mr. Anderson in trouble. He says the West Side needs to be able to take care of itself. 
Corporal White caught me taking the water and made me tell on Mr. Anderson. I think something bad happened, but Mr. Anderson told me not to worry. What are you doing? Oh, hello. Corporal White? I don't know where he... Uh, I mean, I never heard of him. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. doing anything uh it, it's for the co-ops mr anderson told me to do it he said it wasn't stealing if it's for the good of everybody he caught me and made me tell on mr anderson i don't know what happened after that but when I asked, Mr. Anderson said not to worry. But Mr. Anderson had this look on his face. It's the look grown-ups get when they've done something bad. Hey there. Good to see you again. I suppose there's no point in denying it any longer. I killed Corporal White to protect West Side's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. If the NCR thinks White was killed by, say, members from the Scorpions gang, it may be enough for them to close the case. Thank you. What happened was regrettable, but I'll make sure it never happens again.
You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You're back. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. Shit. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the Colonel would listen to that. I'll talk to him about it. But you, I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Yep, see you around. Hello. It. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? Well, that's a shame about Corporal White. He knew better than that. But you. I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Yep, see you around. Good to see you again. Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. That's not a bargain I can accept. Westside depends on that water for survival and self-reliance. I'll surrender on one condition. You protect West Side Secret. Without that water, this community won't survive long. I'll say that White and I had a falling out over a woman. A crime of passion, if you will. Ten percent of the co-op's profits. Twenty percent it is. Ed's anyone won't like it, but at least our secret will be safe. I'll turn myself in. Thank you for understanding. Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, that, yeah. Anderson filled me in on the details. Just let me know when you'd like your order to be filled. 
Yeah, it just came in. Here's all of it. I'm sorry, but your order won't be in for a while. Please come back in a day or two. See you later. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You're back. I already talked to Anderson, actually. Came in, confessed, and gave you credit for the whole thing. First time I've ever seen anything like that. It was like you'd done him some huge favor. I gotta hand it to you. This Dazzle must be some girl. But you! I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it. But go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Yep, see you around. Hello? I'll surrender on one condition. You protect Westside's secret. Without that water, this community won't survive long. I'll say that White and I had a falling out over a woman. A crime of passion, if you will. Thank you. I won't make any trouble when they come for me. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You're back. I've already talked to Anderson, actually. Came in, confessed, and gave you credit for the whole thing. First time I've ever seen anything like that. It was like you'd done him some huge favor. I gotta hand it to you. This Dazzle must be some girl. But you! I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. 
I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Yep, see you around. You showed up just in time to say goodbye. Me and a couple of the others are packing it in and heading back to California. The water ration's still a problem, and the NCR doesn't look like it's gonna do anything about it anytime soon. I hear the Brahmin ranchers out in Redding are looking for some hard workers, so I might try there first. I hate working with Brahmin, though. I wouldn't be able to meet the quota, and the NCR would kick me out of my job anyway. Nah, it's better I get out on my own terms. Adios. Tom Anderson, can I help you? No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. I'll surrender on one condition. You protect Westside's secret. Without that water, this community won't survive long. I'll say that White and I had a falling out over a woman. A crime of passion, if you will. Then you leave me no choice. Aha! We followers aren't pushovers. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You're back. 
Don't tell me. He married the hooker. Anderson. I've heard of him if it's the same guy. Water nerd from the followers of the apocalypse. Used to handle some of the operations for OSI. I don't know what to think about the followers. The things they do. Hard to say if they're helping or hurting sometimes, especially in Freeside. I'll have to send some people out there to make sure we don't lose any more water. That stuff's like gold out here. But you! I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Yep, see you around. Our water ration suddenly increased. Can't help but think that you had something to do with it. West side, huh? I hope the NCR does something about those thieving bastards. I appreciate it, and so do the rest of the farmers. Maybe you don't want for food much, but you can sell these on the market for a good price. Like I said, we're much obliged for the help. I hear the Brahmin ranchers out in Redding are looking for some hard workers, so I might try there first. I hate working with Brahmin, though. Maybe you don't want for food much, but you can sell these on the market for a good price. Like I said, we're much obliged for the help. Sure you don't. All just a happy coincidence, am I right? Maybe you don't want for food much, but you can sell these on the market for a good price. Like I said, we're much obliged for the help. 